Good morning. It's 5.30 a.m. and this child won't go to sleep. Ah! Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, ah? She woke up screaming for tea. I think she might have gas. I don't know why she still wakes up um at night for to be fed. And she's seven months. And I'm so tired because yesterday I had to take her to the hospital because she swallowed a piece of okay, plastic bag. Why are you behaving like that? Hmm? She swallowed a piece of plastic bag and I haven't seen it in her poop. So I had to take her to the hospital. Why? What happened? She is so she's such a miserable little baby. Like she's so miserable. All right, all right. All right let's put this here. Leave it. You oh, you crying because you want to go get the phone. You can't get it, Mama. We're using it. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Siki, 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 bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Siki, 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 bubble gum. Put your hands into your tummy. Any pull him? Any pull him? Any pull him away? Siki, 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 bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Put your hands onto your cheek. And you pull him. And you pull him. And you pull him away. Sticky, 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 bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble. <laughs> Let me tell me, you tell me now. This is what I have to be doing at 5 30. <laughs> This is what I have to be doing at 5.30. Little girl, I want to sleep. As I was saying, I had to go to the hospital yesterday. So I came home late last night. Sticky, 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 bubble gum, bubble gum. I came home late last night. I'm so tired. So tired. Because um, you went um, to the hospital about 2 o'clock in the day. And then we never got to you until some minutes after six o'clock. But it's good that I went that late because I just know how the Jamaican system is in terms of waiting time at the hospital. If you go in the morning, you're definitely not getting to until in the evening. Because I heard a lot of people arguing about them being at the hospital and for that from in the morning and actually getting through at the time that I was getting through. I couldn't deal with that. So I wanted them to do an x-ray on her to see if the plastic bag is in. But she, it's about this length. Um, so they said they don't need to do an x-ray because it's a bag. She's going to pass it out. And they won't be able to see it in, on the x-ray, which I, which I doubt. I don't believe that. She, maybe she's just lazy and never wants to do it. So, I'm just hoping that she pass it out. I don't know if she did, because maybe she did and I didn't see it. She hasn't been reacting anyway, like anything wrong with it. It's just my mind that just tells me that I want to check. I want to be sure. Mm. It's 5.30. You can't be waking up everybody. Ain't nobody ready to wake up. Nobody, nobody's not ready to wake up. Why are you waking people up? Sister is sleeping. Sister is going to be mad if you wake her up. She's going to be mad at you. So mad. Yes. She's going to be so mad. So you have to learn to be quiet. I gave you your tea. What else do you want? What? You're not getting my phone. What? You want what? You want dada? You want Dada? We're gonna call him and tell him to come and get you. Yeah? Yeah? I need to shut up? That's what you're telling me. <laughs> you're telling me to shut up? You're not joking. You're telling me to shut up. <laughs> oh my god. 
they always say that no two kids are alike and that is definitely true because she is the total opposite of what Robin was. Robin was so chill, maybe like no neighbors could ever tell you that they hear Robin at seven months crying in the morning. No man, Robin crying was only for colic in the evening time and she finished colic at two months. Why is Raven behaving like this? I'm like, I was so scared, you know, during my pregnancy. I just knew it. I just had a strong gut feeling that this child is going to be different. Because I'm like, hmm. well, it's a different father. So I definitely know that she ain't going to come the same like Robin. So said, so done. She is a total opposite. Like, she has no chill whatsoever. She, she breaks my back, man. And then now I'm trying, I'm trying to get us an apartment and it's the 2nd of January and I just can't wait for us to get the apartment. I was supposed to go view the apartment and the lady told me that the guy that was painting, he left with the key. Then we were supposed to go in the, in the evening again. She said she's in a meeting. I'm trying to call her. Haven't gotten through to her. It's so frustrating trying to get an apartment so i asked her to send me like pictures of what the apartment looked like or videos she sent me pictures and i'm in love i'm like yes it's a one bedroom living room dining kitchen it has a washroom area it has a little porch a little veranda and it has a big yard space because i like i like it home you want to sleep come it's fine, Miss Rachel, so you can watch her. Look at her face. So she's watching Miss Rachel now. So yeah, as I said, the yard has good enough space to ride around her bike and her truck. So that is good. So I am just hoping and praying that I can just get to move. Because I'm starting to just feel a little bit agitated now because I'm ready to go you know and i've been feeling okay all along and now you know like when you reach the point where you say okay things are about to start falling in place it's always when you are about to accomplish your goals that you start having some of the biggest challenges like everything will be going okay up until the point where all right now this is the time that's when majority of the problem starts arising because she having to go to the hospital i'm like why do i have to go do this no this is really not something that is supposed to be happening right at this time when i should be focusing on you know trying to move trying to get my appliances and see the apartment and see what i need to get into the apartment and most importantly i want to settle because i want to figure out what I need to do for Robin school because she has been out of school for a month and she loves school and you know she's been on the principal's honor roll and her principal called me to tell me that she got a certificate and she got a badge I feel so bad that I took her from school but I'm like lord you know my heart's desire it's never to do anything like this and you know the reason why so i just want him to just you know be my strength throughout this entire situation it's just crazy and a lot of things has been playing on my mind you know especially the fact that just thinking back and looking back at when i moved and be with her dad i'm like okay i left my apartment it was a very nice apartment two bedroom a big bathroom living and dining kitchen a big washroom a big veranda and a big enough you know parking space and i had my car and everything and you know <laughs> i'm just i love to evaluate my life i love to evaluate myself and look back um uh, based on where i was to where i am now that's how i you know evaluate myself and try to figure out whatever it is that i need to do to go forward and change certain things and i'm like okay here i am moving out from my child's father and i'm like okay i moved in with one child my car my fridge my stove my washing machine and all of that with one child and now i move i moved out of this relationship with two kids 
no stove, no washing machine, no car. And I'm like, girl, you left. You left. You, I'm, and I feel like I'm going backwards. I'm like, no, this. And then now I'm moving into a one bedroom apartment because I moved out of a two bedroom. And now I'm moving out with two kids to go into a one bedroom. You see what I'm saying? So I start evaluating myself and I'm like, no, girl, this is backwards. Like, this is really backwards. Like, there is nothing that you've upgraded. You haven't upgraded. Like, no regrets about my child, but I'm just looking at it like that. And I'm like, mm -mm. we have to fix that. We have to fix that. Like, I have to fix that, to be honest with you. Like, that has to be fixed. There is no way that's going to be like, that's like, there's no way this is a life. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And it's just, I, it just shows that, you know, and this this is what I one of the things that one of the things that I was so when I was you know before I got pregnant with her I was so frustrated with being a stay at home mom knowing that I was always this working girl yeah my clothes is put on back way I was always this working girl so I was always just waiting for the right time to get back to start working and start doing my thing now with another baby life just becomes a little bit difficult and this is why men need to understand when women would say that no they don't want to you know have kids because it's rather selfish of men to want you to just be like oh i want you i want a baby i want a baby well at the when at the end of the day it's actually the woman that is giving up her entire life to to bring forth a child it is a woman it is you you are doing this for nine months you are the one going through the bodily changes the hormones um a lot of women cannot work a lot of women cannot walk a lot of women has to lay in bed for the entire nine months and then you go give birth be it vaginal be it um c-section you you have to be through that recovery process while being a mom and then you still have to after you recover from your c-section and be able to move around you still have to be mother for 18 years or more so it is you as a mom that have to go through it and if you evaluate the situation and be like no i'm not able to handle this and they're gonna judge you they don't really care about you they don't because they are men most men are not really father father they just play the role of you know doing whatever they can or whatever they want to whenever because they know okay that's my child but there is no high priority when it comes to being a father compared to being a mom being a mom like we definitely choose and know that we have to do this because this is our child and we have to make the time and we have to make the sacrifice and we have to give up this because our child is not safe our child is not secure our child come first and we don't have like men they're not doing that shit they're not doing that it's like it's all up to the mom all up to the mom to make sacrifices to give up like if they're supposed to do something with the kid they're gonna like but i have to do this but i have to do that but the moms ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> like you as a mom, your life is your life is not a life. Your life is not important. Your priorities are not important when it comes to raising kids or when it comes to, you know, taking care of yourself versus taking care of your kids. But I'ma do what I gotta do. Yeah. I'ma do what I have to do. I just need to get this apartment and get ourselves settled so i can start um getting my life sorted because it's it's so hard to um to get apartments it's so hard to get apartments i saw i heard about another one that it that has has the exact same thing like the one that i like that one is forty five thousand dollars compared to this one that i like it's like 
$15,000 more. I'm like, what? There is no way. And back then, like four years ago, that so much has changed in four years. Back then, when I moved out of my two-bedroom apartment, when I moved out of my two-bedroom apartment, I was paying $30,000 flat for that apartment. And that apartment was huge. That apartment was even bigger than the house that I was living with my baby daddy. Bigger. As an apartment, it was bigger. Like the space, the rooms were huge. The bathroom was huge. The washroom, the wash, the washroom was big like a kitchen. The washroom was big like the kitchen. Big. It was long. You could actually have it as a washroom and a kitchen in one. And then there was a kitchen. It was huge for thirty thousand dollars. I can just imagine how much it's being rented for now. Maybe like forty five or fifty thousand. If it says fifty thousand dollars, I I wouldn't um disagree because it's worth it. It's it's huge and it's close to the town and you know the space is good and it's in a very nice neighborhood. It's not ghetto, you know, it's a scheme and all the houses beside it are really huge, so I couldn't understand. But yeah, this is just my little rant, 5.30 a.m. It's maybe about six o'clock, the, the cocks are crowing, crowing right now. So it's, um, it's, not, it's not light out yet. You see, she's quiet because she's watching Miss Rachel. Hmm? Raven, 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 put your tongue in, put in your tongue. What is this? I'm gonna put some Vaseline. I think I could put some Vaseline on it. You want me to put Vaseline on it, baby? Alright, let's mommy get Vaseline for you. That. My earring. <clears throat> Come, let's put Vaseline on your mom. You're a girl. Get used to wearing lip lip gloss. See, shiny. I'm not going anywhere. I'm coming right back in the bed. I don't know where where you think I'm going. Hmm? I'm gonna see if she wants to go back to sleep. Like this eye, this eye doesn't seem like she wants to go back to sleep. Ooh. And Robin is asleep. Say papa. Say papa. Say papa. I don't know if I'm if I may continue with the vlog because today I may have some stuff to do. So if i'm going to i may just continue the vlog if not and this is just going to be the end of it okay 